What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV coming to you from Hanoi, Vietnam. We're going to show you the best things to do while visiting this city. Let's do it. First up, we're here at Tron Quoc Pagoda right here on the lake. This is the oldest pagoda originally constructed around the 6th century during the reign of Emperor Li Nam De. So it's a 1500 year old Buddhist temple. Next up, we're headed to the mausoleum for Ho Chi Minh. Commonly known as Uncle Ho, he was the former Communist Party leader, and this here is now a very important site for Vietnamese people, as the mausoleum is considered an honor to visit, and many people looking for historical and cultural context about Vietnam should visit here. It costs one dollar. Next up, we're going to talk about some of the local food. The most popular food here, in my opinion, is pho, which is a soup, and then coffee. Now, the variety of coffee depends, but the most famous one coming from here is called egg coffee. Said to be a metabolic stimulant that's also healthy for women, it includes raw cream, egg yolk, collagen, and maple syrup. You eat the froth off the top, and then you drink the coffee afterwards, and it has a kind of milky, creamy texture to the whole drink. There's also plenty of fried street food, like the shrimp cakes, also some fried spring rolls, which were really delicious that I ate right here. I'm not sure what this yellow roll is. It looks like an empanada, but it had egg inside of it, which was really tasty also. Lots of stir fry with noodle or rice. And then banh mi. Banh mi is a baguette with some meat. And depending on the filler that the street vendors like to go with, I usually go with uh, chili sauce. A lot of the street food can be had for under a dollar easily. Now we're here in the Old Quarter. They call it the Old Quarter because this is a French colonial area. So it's a mix between Indochina architecture as well as some French. Obviously the French no longer occupy this area. So it is really just a nice cultural area to walk around and hang out. Lots of cyclos you'll notice. I also consider this to be the best place in the whole city for nightlife. It gets buzzing, lots of attractions around here including some of which we will be showing you later on in the video, like Beer Street. You can typically find hotels in the area around $50 to $60 a night, and these will be what are considered four to three star hotels. And here we are now at the Hanoi Train Street right here in the Old Quarter. Monday through Friday, you can expect the train from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. There's four of them going that evenings. And on the weekends, there's gonna be 10 different trains going starting at 6 a.m. all the way until 11 p.m. So do check the time schedule for that. What makes this place so unique is how the train goes right through the old market area and the vendors have to close up shop real quick so the train can come steaming through. And it became a popular place with tourists. Next up, we're headed to Beer Street, also known as Ta Hien Street, which is one of the busiest and most vibrant streets in all of Hanoi. It is right here in the old quarter. This is my favorite place to go people watching. And by people watching, I'm talking about the locals because you'll see a lot of traditional dress and market style selling vendors right here. So if you're looking for a nighttime activity, this is where you wanna be. People like to call this area Bia Hoi because that means fresh beer. You can typically find a beer around here for anywhere between 10,000 Vietnamese dong to 15,000 dong. So that means for under seven to $10, you can have a pretty good night. And that's what made this place really popular with backpackers, as you could imagine. But the cheap food also, I mean, you can eat a dinner here for under $3 per person, easy. The street itself is about 100 meters of pubs and just nightlife entertainment. Really a cool place to hang out, so I hope you guys end up down here if you like to have a night on the town. I do want to give a piece of advice about taking taxis around Hanoi. I recommend using the app called Grab because some of the taxis around here use fake meters. So that's just a word to the wise. And with Grab, it's a fixed rate, no surprises at the end. Next up, we're headed to Ninh Bin. This here is a UNESCO World Heritage Site known as the Halong Bay of the inland area. If you wanna know what Ninh Bin translates to, it's serene and flat. You can do a day trip here, but it is a two hour drive both ways thereabouts. And in a different direction is Halong Bay, which is about a three hour drive from Hanoi. These are very close to Hanoi. You could almost call it a triangle. 
So you could do Hanoi and then you could do Ninh Binh and then you could do Halong Bay spread out over a seven day itinerary. Now headed back to Hanoi, we're here at the Temple of Literature. This is where Vietnam's finest scholars were honored. And you also have a rare example of traditional Vietnamese architecture, which you can find here at this temple. On the day I visited the Temple of Literature, you can see it was quite wet and rainy. Both times I visited Hanoi back in 2019 and now, it was all gray skies, I never saw the sun. So try to show up here during the non-rainy season if you don't like a lot of rain. A fun cultural activity is checking out the water puppet show. So this is a way to recreate daily life in Vietnam's northern villages. And all across Vietnam, spa, massage, haircut, all of that is very popular. You can do that here in Hanoi as well. I would say it's not as popular in the north as it is in the south, but you can still do the self-care activities, whether it's a Japanese onsen spa, a foot massage, or a body massage. You're gonna see that all around the old quarter, especially here in Hanoi. Now we're here at the Vietnamese Women's Museum. Vietnam is known to be a very matriarchal society, especially before the Chinese arrived. And this museum here highlights the women in Vietnam and their experience throughout the years. It opened in 1995 in its four-story building. And as we show you around the Women's Museum here, I wanna give you some information about the currency. So one US dollar equals 24,400 Vietnamese dong, also known as VND. And with that being said, the entrance fee here is 40,000 VND. That comes out to around a dollar and 65 cents. Also, I wanna let you know when the rainy season is, that's usually from July until November, December. And from January until about April is the sunny season here in Vietnam. So take that into consideration, do with that information what you will. Next up, we're here at Sword Lake. Let's go take a look. Also known as Ho Quan Kiem. This lake is famous because thousands of years ago, it was said to be the body of water where the legend of King Li Loi received a holy sword from the golden turtle, Genie, to defeat the invaders from the north. Now, the reason it's called Sword Lake is because he returned the sword and gave it to the giant turtle that took it under the water with him. And the monument that you see here is actually called the Turtle Tower, which is believed to be where the Golden Turtle Genie often sleeps. As you're probably noticing by now, a lot of these activities in Hanoi are around the old quarter and very close to each other. And here we are at Dong Xuan Market. Let's do some shopping. It is the largest indoor market in Hanoi, also known for its goods such as souvenirs, accessories, clothing. You can get shoes here, you can get electronics even some fresh produce. People also sell some household appliances. It's a place to go for a couple hours, get some food, walk around, do some shopping if you're in need. If not, maybe make a short trip, but it is several levels and it is quite large. Going around here, you will see many different vendors. It is open from 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. every day. The market opens till 10.30 p.m. though, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so that's a benefit and you will find more cheaper prices for goods here than you'll find in other places. And it's also conveniently located nearby the Old Quarter. And some of you may find this interesting, the Hanoi Opera House is 120,000 VND per person. That's around three to four dollars. And it allows a maximum of 20 visitors for 70 minutes. If you guys are enjoying this tour of Hanoi, you should also watch our Ho Chi Minh City things to do as well as our Da Nang things to do video. I'll put links to those below in the comments and in the description. We also did a full informational guide about Vietnam, everything you need to know when visiting. And if you're in the mood for a museum, you can check out the Vietnam National History Museum. It's around 40,000 VND per person. In this area in particular, you'll come across people who are driving these cyclos. They'll ask you if you wanna take a ride. I decided to do one. Although the price can vary, even if you agree on a previous price to begin with, going from point A to point B, keep that in mind. It can be a bit unique with how they uh, finagle the price, but a cyclo experience is still considered one of the cool things to do in the old quarter. My recommendation for Hanoi is around three to four days. I don't think you need to do much more time than that unless you're here for other reasons. 
It's just a place to stop, check out the history and learn more about Vietnam and then go on to the next place. So speaking of that, please watch our Ho Chi Minh City video as well as most important things to know about visiting Vietnam next by clicking one of these links. And thank you to all of our subscribers and channel members.